It's your boy, Cut Nice 50. Hey, if you're new to the channel, appreciate y'all for supporting us on this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Today, man, we want to talk about um the Chicago Pro is coming up. I don't know if y'all heard of Justin Shear. Normally, he was on um Full Odds uh, Bodybuilding Podcast channel. Um, He's going to be a new athlete. I think he won his division at the National Championship maybe even a, over a year ago. So he had a, lo a long off season. Um. He's a business owner, all that good stuff right there. I post some pictures about him um, so y'all can see. But Nick um, Walker predicted that he's going to be blessing a water boot at the Chicago Pro. So share y'all thoughts. Let me know what you think about that. I kind of, I don't know. It's going to be a hard one to see. Justin is a little shorter. He is complete, though. He doesn't have any weaknesses. So I think it's going to come up to how blessing legs look. Um, we all know Justin, we don't know with this new weight he gained, but he does get shredded. So his physique is phenomenal. It's almost like um, Nathan DeAsher. Um, if y'all know anything about Nathan, he's preparing his comeback right now. I put his picture up there. Um, and they both have high lats. So I like the physique personally, um, I think, but in the bodybuilding world, if you're a little off, you know, they don't kind of consider that a strength. That's a, considered a weakness um, in pro bodybuilding. Um, even though their physiques is phenomenal. Like I said, Nathan now is more complete than he was before. Um, but it's it's time for a change. Hopefully Nathan um, will compete at Olympia this year. Who knows? He, he hasn't competed. I think I remember him watching him at least three to four years back on the Olympia stage. And he might only did it twice. I'm not even think about it. But he is one of the top winning this um, IFBB pros out here now. He just normally competes overseas or closer to home. Um, you know, he is a family man, business owner, all that good stuff. And he was on Full Art's channel also. Um, but Nathan has um, I think he's with um somebody podcast, uh one of my guys who I follow. Um, he's on his podcast and um and Nathan has an accent. You know, y'all can hear me talking. I got a little southern accent, but Nathan accent is a little stronger. Um because I don't think English is their first language. It might be French or um, European kind of accent. So, um, but um, he is a great guy, great athlete. So I look forward to him. But getting back to the Chicago Pro, I mean, they got to have some good, good, good people competing in that show. So um, it's not going to be easy for Justin or um, Blessing, especially if you have my guy Sergio, Sergio, who's prepping, gets over here, get his little case cleared or whatever his insurance. Um, claims clear with the accident he had over there in the body. If he fixes that, it's going to be over for anybody who's trying to compete with this guy. Um, but that Chicago Pro is going to be also great. Um, I think what Han Honey Ramboy got a new athlete. I think his name is Muhammad Fuad. And this guy is going to be competing, I think, soon also. He's a monster, slowly putting on weight. I think he competed once last year. But he's – I mean, we got some – Great athletes who are going to be the future of bodybuilding coming up soon. Um, but um, now I want to just go ahead and get into this. Nick from Bodybuilding and BS, man. Nick was a great guy. I think his channel just got taken down off of YouTube for a strike or community guidelines violation. And y'all already know YouTube now, um, once they do it, now they got Jeff and algorithm, just like everything else is uh, integrated with AI. Now, whenever they funnel out things, it's a little bit different. By the time I post this one, I just got a community viol um, guideline strike for posting, I think, a short on a, just working out. You know, you give tips and stuff like that. Showing um, under adult supervision, I think a teenager or something had the weight slip. No broken bones, nothing like that. I think he did dislocate, dislocate his elbow, and they gave me a community guidelines um, strike just off of that. So... Who knows what the AI is looking for and stuff like that. Even though, you, like you say, we don't condone violence, no injuries or um, glorifying, nothing like that. This is a teaching method. So even if you put a video for education purposes only, um, it don't matter. They Whatever they um, deem with a system that is uh, inappropriate, they're going to take it down, give you a strike or a warning. But generally, it's going to be strikes because warnings um, is kind of rare also. So um if you already had a one like i say so but it is tricky for any creator out there who's looking to get their youtube channel started who's looking to post you know videos that you want to be uh catching but it, you also want it to be um something that people can resonate with because that's natural stuff especially when you're talking about bodybuilding the fitness world you see people doing all these trendy exercises and stuff like that 
So you would want to post people doing that and having mishaps or slips. So you can't do it because it has nothing to do with bodybuilding. You benching a chair or on one dumbbell trying to do something, uh, aerobic exercise, you know, they have nothing to do with building muscle. It's dangerous and it's um kind of careless, but people showing stuff like that, you're going to have more people doing the lead to more injuries and stuff like that. So um, I like to post uh, teaching methods, tell you to prevent that, tell you to how to do a proper exercise science. But um, I won't probably be posting no more of those videos like that. And I think a community guidelines strike, you get one, I think you're able to get three in 90 days. And after 90 days, they kind of disappear. So that's not as bad as a copyright strike, which they can just take it down for whatever reason. But anything, nobody wants to have no kind of strikes or penalties or nothing like that against them because especially like Nick of a bodybuilding BS, that was his line of revenue. Um, if that's all you depending on is for making money, it's creating content videos and stuff like that. And then for your channel to go away, that can be detrimental to your family or your lifestyle that you're currently living. So I also believe in having multiple streams of income, especially in these challenging times that everybody's going through today. Um, but I think Nick just put out another video on YouTube. I ain't going to even post a video now, but I think um, somebody, I don't know if it's Derek Mo Plates on dates or somebody posted, or maybe even Coach Greg, that if you post a video or something like that, they can strike you or take you down for even posting the other person's content. So I was unaware of that, but I won't be posting uh, anything about that. But I can talk about it. So Nick posted a video on um his IG, y'all can go follow him at Bodybuilder and BS on Instagram. Um, and it's saying it doesn't make sense at all. And he pretty much tweeted to YouTube, um, at Team YouTube on Twitter, telling him um, how to offer some assistance. And he said he don't want his old channel back. He just wants to be able to work and create content on a new platform um, because he doesn't feel that uh, he did anything wrong. I um, mean, you had other people comment and you had my guy, Antonio Smothers, who is a men's physique pro um, in the IFBB, um, saying, you know, somebody reporting wasn't YouTube. They've been trying to silence him for a while now. Then you got a, a McFadden underscore four. They don't care. Same thing with Meta, anything they're involved in, they can cut li the lifeline. And then you can't get a hold of a single person. It took us two years, and that's with the entire legal team. It's all BS. Um, so I don't know who this Matt, Matt Fagan underscore four is, but obviously it's a lot of people who go through this. Like I say, you post some videos and you don't know you, you personally, you might not think it's OK. But whatever the computer system or the program they use is identifies it as misleading or whatever, um, it can be a violation of their terms. Um, it would make sense for myself if you had like a generally people upload the videos and they go through all the checks and they clear them. Um, so you would think it's okay. Then after the fact you post them, it can be a week, two weeks later, or some people I think even heard even over a year later, and then you get a, a strike from that video. You know, it, it sometimes doesn't make sense. So it'll always be good. If you can get a warning on them videos, Hey, this might be misleading. And then you, we, we, we everybody will just take the video down. They don't care too much about that because nobody wants to be penalized. So like I say, or, or have the strikes against them. But that's stuff that nobody can tell you how to do before you start in the channel. Um, so um, Kevin Lamone even said it makes no sense. Y'all know that's IPV Pro. And my guy, Joe Aesthetics, when he competed, he's trying to go for a man's physique. Um, he had a little hardships because he didn't win. And he is a shredded guy, Instagram influencer, one of the biggest names out there on social media. Extra shredded. I post a picture of him right there. Um, but he he's saying himself it doesn't make sense but that's what is what is sad sad won't be the first victim that this happened to um they don't care if 100 or 10 million subs they just cut the line sad for you bro uh really sad um need to post more on every other platform instead now you got this keep pushing so joe aesthetics um like I said, he's an influencer. He posts all kind of um, exercises, but he's an extra shredded guy and stuff like that. Great personality. And that, that is the same thing. It is sad that you got to post things on multiple platforms or whatever else because you just don't never know, especially with the rules changing and stuff like that. And I think 
YouTube just updated their stuff when I think when they start doing the shorts. Um, so February or March or something like that. So it is changing up a little bit more. So I, I'm pretty sure a lot more people will be getting warnings or strikes and stuff like that or penalized. I myself, I had seven days and this was, um, I think, two days ago currently for me. And it's April the 29th. So it might be like May the 3rd or 4th before I upload this video or the other ones I'm already preparing. So um, and then this Coach Ruben Gomez says, sorry to hear that, Nick. Yo, what the F, and that's Antonio um, Ballant, I believe, who posted that. So, I mean, like I said, it's a different things, man. You just don't never know um, how your lifeline is going to be affected. But like I said, when you go into YouTube, you just got to be aware that certain things you can and cannot post about. Um, but it is nobody to really talk to, um, to email straight away besides going to the uh, community guidelines they tell you to read watch the video and stuff like that and you can read it because my video was the same example of a video they had that is approved by youtube to go through um but you know like i said you just never know um what the system's gonna deem unnecessary or unfit for you to post about um so my do i do shout out to nick um by the bbs hopefully he gets back on his feet and he will he's a grinder like i said he's still posting he's still talking about it on instagram and I think Instagram right now is going through a revamp. So they used to uh, compensate people for reels. And I think right now it's nothing right now. And so I'm thinking they'll probably change it up. Next couple of months, I'm pretty sure we have something new out there. Um, I don't know whatever happened to the, like the YouTube. Um, you can create series on there. Um, so it was like a TV network and stuff like that. That's going through on on Instagram. So I don't know if that went away or what. If you have any idea, comment, let me know below. But let me know what you think about Nick by the bit of me. Yes, man, you think he should be allowed back a different channel or he should keep doing things on a different platform. If you know another platform besides the one that he mentioned, um, I forgot the name of but I did post in my previous video on him and why he got took down. So you can watch that for more details. But like I said, Team YouTube, like I say, I hopefully they are kind of figure some things out because there is one of the main major stream networks that's out there now for people to share content and everybody watches YouTube, kids, everything else. Um, so I, hopefully they will hear people, what they're saying, the things that's going on, and they can um, have a better system to give people more warnings or not just total ca uh, cancellation for a whole lifetime. Maybe if you do a year ban, three month ban, six month ban, stuff like that. That still is detriment to anybody, especially on the business, but just taking off the, um, your channel, that's a whole different level. Um, and I think because now they, the rules was based way back when they got started. They didn't probably expect to be this big, but now since they're that big, they probably need to revamp just like everybody else, man. It makes sense. Um, and they are a business. So I think you'll have more people wanting to do stuff on YouTube if they actually revamp start giving people more warnings um and extra besides this total elimination off their network um but share your thoughts man it's your boy cut nice with it don't forget to like subscribe and follow don't forget to do your daily voting for your man who's trying to be the 2023 mr health and fitness by muscle and fitness link will be in the description below thank y'all for uh, supporting your boy on this journey it's your boy cut nice with it don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms and with that we out Back. It's your boy Cut Next 50. Hey, I got big news to announce. Your boy is in the running to be the 2023 Mr. Health and Fitness, presented by Muscle and Fitness Magazine. Y'all already know this is a dream come true, a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I need y'all help. Every vote counts to make this happen. May the 1st, voting begins. Share it to all your friends and family, and let's make this dream come true. It's your boy Cut Next 50. I appreciate y'all for having me on this journey, and with that, we yeah. out. Hey family, it's your boy Cut Nash Fit. As you can see, we just got through crushing some legs, baby. Like I said, we got goals to attain. 14 days beach body transformation going on. Hit the link in the description below, man. We've been doing this for a while, people. We've been doing this for What else can I say?